Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, so you Unreal Engine developers know what that means. It is time to make everyone else jealous with your bounty of free stuff. This stuff is yours to keep forever, so long as you buy it, air quotes around buy, before the first Tuesday of next month. We're just going to jump right in and take a look at it, and we're going to start things off with Art of Shader. Now, interestingly enough, there are only five items in the free for this month category, uh, and it's GDC month. So that kind of leads me to believe that uh, there might be a permanently free edition to come. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for that. So this guy is a bunch of post-processing shaders. And when I mean a bunch, I mean a bunch. It's like 47 post-processing blendable materials here. I got things here from like Aces tone mapping. You, you walk into the thing, you can see the results. Uh, artistic bleach, that one doesn't really show you much, but this one shows it a little bit better. So here we've got blurring and glitching. Here we've got uh, camouflage. Here we have chromatic aberration, which if you ever want to feel a little bit stoned, good choice there. Uh, here we have classic CRT effect. Here we have color adjustments. Here we have color fade. If you actually run this example, you've got slider bars to control everything you're dealing with here. Uh, this one is color ride. Uh, then we've got color shifting, uh, color transforming. Displacement glass. Let's go check what that one looks like right there. So you can see the end result there. So if you are looking for some special effects, there's definitely a ton of them here. This is dynamic contrast. Then we have embossing effects. Uh, we have fade in and out, which fades in and out, predictably enough. Falling stars. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, then we've got uh, film grain, which is a little bit overdone. Uh, we've got Flicker, which I actually will go ahead from so that I don't give any of you issues. Fracturing, and so on. Now, glitch pixels. Now, I can keep showing you these, but I'd give you an idea, again, just how many 47 is. Let's get out of the effect range and take a look at the demo room. So the demo room just kind of keeps going, showcasing all of the effects in this pack. So again, I'm not going to show you all of them, but you get an idea of exactly what it is. It's a big collection of easy-to-use post-processing effects, such as, let's go check out Sonic Boom. Okay, Sonic Boom's kind of cool. Boom. And then over here, let's look one more. Slash split tone's boring. Uh, what about Thermal Vision? All right, there you go. So there is the final example here. It gives you an idea of what is in this pack. So if you are looking for post-processing effects, you now have an absolute ton of them to work with. Uh, next up, we're going to move on to this one right here. This is uh, probably the most straightforward. Uh, it is a forest environment. Now, this guy is a bit, uh, what's the word, big. Uh, so I'm going to give it a second to go ahead and run. Be right back. So here we are in the MAE Oak Forest fully loaded. This is AAA quality forest environment. Uh, it is a little weird performing. It actually runs just fine. And then every once in a while it just goes, Whoa! but it is a demo level. So it is what it is. So this guy is a AAA quality forest. It's got uh, procedural foliage generation all around the map, uh, photogrammetry based models and textures, automatic slope bending. It has a blueprint web sy uh, wind system. So if you'll notice trees are rustling or blowing or whatever the leaves move around uh, you do have control over all of that uh, a four by four example map uh, showcase map that we're seeing right now uh, it's got LODs billboard imposters and so on uh, so this contains uh, about I think it's about 50 uh, so yeah 50 meshes between 100 and 3500 polygons per mesh so if you're looking for a AAA forest environment, this one could be a good pickup for you. Well, actually, it's free, so obviously pick it up. Uh, the only challenge to something like this is we have a decent number of forest meshes now. Nice thing is you should get more diversity. The chances of your game totally overlapping with the look of somebody else's uh, is much reduced. Of course, there is an overview map as well. So if you just want to see uh, what the particular assets look like, you can load this guy up and just check out the individual assets on their own. When they're not in a demo map, it actually looks a little bit less impressive. So here we are in the overview level. Uh, you see here it's composed of, we got some saplings and seedlings. We got the roads going on here, a variety of bushes, ground cover, grass. Again, it, it does take a little bit of the impressiveness away when you look at it as component parts, but they're all very uh, useful in your title. A variety of rocks. Uh, we got some shrubs and and plants going on in the background there. Small rocks, and my absolute favorite, we have a single solitary stick. <laughs> I don't know why we have the single stick, but we do. Uh, then we got, again, all of the various different trees that were used to make this pack as well. Uh, definitely a useful asset, and again, one of the more expensive, the most expensive in this month's giveaway. Um, so that is the M-A-E Oak Forest Overview. Next up, we have Modern House. This one is a house, and it's 
modern. <laughs> uh, pretty straightforward in that regard. Uh, the doors are all blueprinted and set up and work, so you can walk inside and outside of the house. You have a full exterior defined house going on, and then of course you go inside of it and it is fully set up as well. I believe there's over so 130 unique meshes in this particular house. Now one thing I have noticed with Unreal Engine in general uh, is that the, um, the settings for it, the, the um, post-processing volume, uh, when you go into 5.1, everything is very dark. So I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. You can do that with this exposure setting right here. And now you can actually see what we are dealing with. I don't know if it's a 5.0 to 5.1 thing, uh, but uh, I am blooming out the lights a bit. But at least it gives you an idea of seeing the contents of this modern house. So we have a, an end table. We got a flat screen TV going on here. A couple of leather couches. Uh, got a fancy wine rack with stuff in it. Uh, a kitchen that is very cold uh let's see what else we got so let's go upstairs if there's anything going on in the upstairs uh we got a bedroom right here uh you get an idea of exactly what you're dealing with now on to a very different house now we have an opera house by the way the same thing is going on here uh so i just find the default lighting is just almost um it's way too dark so let's go here post-processing volume over here and again we'll just jack the exposure up a bit but this time i'll actually type so we'll put it to 1.3 Ah, it's a little too dark still. 1.8, 2 2.5, 3. All right, there we go. We'll go with 3 for the rest of this demo. And now I'll switch back over to game view and immersive view, and let's go take a look around this opera house. So this one uh, is normally $81.56. Interesting price there. Uh, obviously, it is an opera house. It's a kit bash of assets designed in a realistic style for creating an opera house. So... Um, it's obviously a game level type thing going on here. Uh, you got uh, obviously everything here too is um, you know prefab or blueprinted, so you can easily drop just the pieces that you need into your game, uh, such as these hydraulic lifts. Uh, we got a bunch of scaffolding going on. Uh, we have the chandelier up here. We got a variety of different box seats and environments and chairs, uh, and so on. So it is. Um, well, what it says on the tin, it is an opera house uh, environment. Everything here is included. That includes 152 textures, uh, 53 materials, uh, 88 unique meshes uh, with a vertex count between 10 vertices and 30,000. I do believe there is an overview, so we can just go take a look at what the, uh, the, compo the composite or the component parts are of this guy. And here you can see all the pieces that went together to create our opera house. So we got some uh, scaffolding here. Again, the lifts, some lighting, some picture frames, uh, a couple of different pianos, some uh, storage bins, seating. Over here, we have uh, all of the pieces that went together to actually create the opera house itself uh, in a modular manner. And yeah, that is that. So that is it for the... Um, the content type stuff. Uh, we have one other asset. I'm going to show you the video of it. So uh, this, what we're looking at now is the Voltit multiplayer vaulting system. Now this one isn't really easy to demo. So that's why I'm using little clips from their own uh, demonstration video. Uh, it is a multiplayer vaulting system that is fully replicated with client side prediction for lag free gameplay. It handles desync properly. Even with root motion is highly optimized. Voltit has a plethora of features to customize the behavior and is also the best on the market for single player games as well. So basically, if you need to climb up or over things, that's what Vaulted is all about. This is actually built on top of something called GAS, the gameplay ability system, but you do not need it to use this. Uh, so if you've got it, uh, you've got further configurability options you've got available to you, uh, but this one is not. So this one is, uh, again, I believe it is based on C++, but you can also work with it in Blueprint. Uh, it will work with GAS, so it's based on GAS, but you do not need GAS to work with it. Again, it is multiplayer ready. Um, so if you need to have characters that can scramble around the scenes, vault over stuff, etc., this is vaulted. Now, this one installs as a plugin uh, to Unreal Engine, and it is labeled as being only for Windows. And I tried it on Mac OS, and it would not install. So uh, it should work on other platforms, but the development platform and the target platform are showing as Windows only. So just one of those things you definitely want to be aware of when it comes to these platform, like these um, plugin type solutions. So that is this month's 
stuff. So again, you have until the next first Tuesday of next month to buy this stuff completely for free. Basically, all you have to do is like add it to your cart, uh, add all of them to your cart and check out and then pay $0 at checkout. So a quick recap, we have the Art of Shader. Uh, again, 47 post-processing uh, materials there for doing things like chromatic aberration, uh, various different film effects, special effects, and so on. Uh, we have the Opera House Kit. We have the uh, Oak Forest uh, we have the Vaulted multiplayer vaulting system, which again is an engine plugin. And then we also have the Modern House. So that is this month's free content. Now I'm still showing last month's because I'm recording this a little bit in advanced. Uh, so hopefully you picked it up, but basically all you do again, once again, add it to your cart, check it out. It's yours to keep forever. Uh, they have a number of free items here. So it's in the free for month category for this stuff. So this will be available until uh, the first Tuesday in April. And then in which case, hopefully we'll get new stuff. Now also normally what they do is add a something in the permanently free collection and as of right now there is nothing but this is gdc month uh and the game developer conference normally has a bunch of announcements that go with it so don't be surprised if we see more content coming later this month and of course if you uh click that subscribe button and notify etc i will let you know when that comes out if it comes out as well as all of the other news that comes from the game developer conference because this is going to be a busy busy month so ladies and gentlemen that is this month's free content the Art of Shader, the Opera House Kit, the MA Oak Forest Kit, the Vaulted Multiplayer Vaulting System, and finally, the Modern House Environment. What do you think of this month's contents? Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.